the country's economy. However, he does not favor House Resolution 1109. As a businessman who's been exposed to corruption in our government, H, uh, this 1109 is a mere uh, bill that, to extend the term of Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Uh, there are um, uh, different, uh, uh, different presentations made, you know, especially by Speaker Nagreales, that economic provisions long down to, to allow foreign investment in our country. And we have that, you know, we have that standing. We, and also in, uh, we allow also foreign investment in different sectors of our society. And if there's any change in the charter that, uh, that is needed, and I believe there, ha there has to be charter change, that could be done in, uh, after 2010. There are senators and congressmen who have announced that they will not join the SONA because of their opposition to PGMA. The opposition says that the sauna of PGMA will be filled with praise and promise, but progress itself cannot be felt. On the 27th, uh, I hope that she specifically says that there will be no charter change prior to 2010. That's the first. And second, that we will have an election that will be a presidential election, not a parliamentary election. Third, she should also say that she will not do anything to extend her term, including the act of, uh, of uh, martial law or martial rule in our country. Uh, and I will, I will also advise her that if she's scheming to run for Congress, uh, I, I wouldn't advise that either because that then shows that she will try to move heaven and earth to shift immediately from presidential to parliament after the 2010 election and, and start using the largesse of her, a lot of her money because of the nine years in power uh, to make her prime minister. Those are the things that she ha categorically has to say in the, in the sauna. There are senators who also said that they will attend the ninth and final state of the nation address of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. However, if any House member would insist on convening a constituent assembly during the scheduled sauna, the senators have threatened to walk out. Just like Joey Di Venetia III, they do not believe in House Resolution 1109. Maritime Agam Agam, although this has been dismissed time and time and again by the palace and even Speaker of the House, Prospero de Granis, that during the sauna, they will use this to convene a constituent assembly. Yes, that's uh, very probable. Immediately after, that will be the first day. And you'll have immediate, definitely a quorum of congressmen there because uh, so on. Uh, so uh, they can immediately declare uh, a, a vote to uh, have a constituent assembly right there on the floor. And if, the, and, and if a vote is taken, obviously the, uh, the party or this... Uh, coalition of the president will definitely win and have the majority uh, that will uh, allow it to convene as a constituent assembly and make amendments to our constitution right that evening. No? Dapat talagang ipakita natin na hindi tayo papayag na after ring sona ni Presidente Arroyo ay magkaroon agad ng con us. The Filipinos have been longing for a change for the better ever since. The State of the Nation address is the time where our elected highest official reports to the public he or she serves about accomplishments. The sauna is a good time to compare and contrast the report of the President if progress have been made for the better. House Resolution 1109 is an evidence that change is constant and Filipinos want to live their lives better. For GNN Newscast, J4 Sabale reporting.